Okay, now we are ready to begin adding data. One reminder is you want to go to Insert, Tab, and then go to New Map, and you want to make sure you have a new uh, insert a new map if you don't already have a new map in your contents. That's first things first, because this is our data view. We want to be able to make sure we have a place to put our data. The next is over under the View tab. Uh, you want to make sure you have your catalog pane or catalog view. You can add data either way. So the catalog pane is over here on the right, and then the catalog view uh, brings up you know your catalog here, and so it has a tab in the middle. Um, I want to just close that tab since I have my catalog pane over here. Now, since we have mapped our folder and we're looking for our walkability VR data geodatabase, you can, uh, just like an ArcMap or other program, simply drag and drop your layers in. So there's the Madison Boundary, the Madison Bus Stops, and the Madison Roads. And that's our three uh, initial starting data sets. One other place, uh, you can go back to your map tab, and underneath the layers here, you can add other maps. So you could add a base map, just like an arc map, where you have imagery, imagery with labels, topography, some other base maps there provided by Esri. You can go to your add data. You could add data this way, similar to the plus sign or add layers or shape files or things that other programs have used. And then they also have this new one where you can add presets. And so if you have a preset, ground or subtype group layers, you can add those. Um, we're not going to deal with them right now, but just wanted to make you aware of them. And that's how you add data. Thanks.